Well, hi y'all. Welcome to an extra video this month. I am really pleased to share with you two spontaneous builds that I made. One is Italian Plot, number nine, that is part of Channel 5 Gaming's Project Plan Planet Coaster uh, series they have. And the second one, well, I'm gonna make y'all wait till towards the end of this video to see what I made. So you don't wanna miss out. Uh, watch till towards the end and I have a nice little surprise for y'all. And no fast forwarding. <laughs> Initially, while this is a really cool project to be a part of, I wasn't going to do this. I have a lot of other projects that I've been working on that I really want to get completed before Planet Coaster 2 comes out. <laughs> so anyhow, I was working on that and my buddy Boog was all like, you got to do this. <laughs> and he convinced me, he had a really good persuasive argument to convince me to do this project. And I'm glad that I did. So I chose Italian plot number nine, which is in the green area, the Italian area. The uh, Project Planco is divided up into different areas. You've got the city, you've got the French area, the Chinatown, a Japanese area, and there's other areas that are gonna be opened up and, and be themed out. And there's gonna be shop contests and I just wanted to do just a simple building, you know, not a shop or anything like that. And I chose number nine because of the shape. It, if you look, it's where my little mouse is pointing. Uh, you can see the shape that I had to do. I had to fit the volume and the height. I couldn't, you know, I had it had to be a minimum height and then it had to be no more than the maximum height. And, and I liked the challenge. I wanted to do something that, you know, was interesting and all. And I had done a, an Italian theme. And so I picked that. So in typical Smilinoma fashion, I started doing research on Italian buildings. And the thing is, is I didn't, I, I wanted to have my building match or blend in with the rest of the Italian buildings. And yeah, you know, it's just kind of like you kind of have to guess. The one shop that was in the Italian area was Fua's, and she made a beautiful pip shot, uh, pip shot shop. <laughs> Say that ten times really fast. And uh, check out, I have footage of it. Check out her really cool water tank. And she made that out of a canopy and added some bubble special effects and it looks like a water tank it was it's really brilliant I was really impressed with that and then Glacier made a really beautiful Italian build and his gave me the vibe of Tuscany so I tried to do my best to make my buildings fit in with glaciers and fuas so here's a better look at the plot that I had to fill in the volume the height all of that and so the green part it I needed to fill that in that was my foundation and it was really important that I fit that into my build and not just build on top of it or look really wonky when Johnny placed it so I got the first challenge of this build pretty much uh, spot on it takes a little bit of finagling and patience and a steady hand, or at least for me and my mouse, when I've tried doing this, as you can see. But I got the foundation to cover up the green part so he can delete that and it will fill up and be just what they wanted. So I was really glad about that. And I was inspired from some pictures that I saw, and I'll show those to you um, coming up. In the background, you'll see some roofs. I tried making some custom roofs to go with my first prototype of this building and it just didn't work out. I followed Wix's method, but 
there, like one panel was 54 pieces. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm, all my piece count is going to go straight to the roofs and the rest of my build will look like shit. <laughs> and I only had 1500 pieces to work with. And so that was another challenge I forgot to mention. So piece count, you know, was really important to not go over. I really wanted to go under if I could. So that was another challenge. So I just shared two reference pictures that were my biggest inspirations for this project starting off. And hopefully you can tell where I was going with this when you see what I was doing. I was trying to make this all on grid and that was my problem. I was having a hot mess trying to build on grid into this plot, you know, into this, this space trying to put all of these uh, townhouses, these buildings uh, together and make it look interesting. I really like the uh, texture of the first one on the far right, the yellow with the brick. I had figured out a way to layer this in-game piece to make it look layered. And I really wanted to go, I, I really held on to that idea for a long time. <laughs> and I was kind of sad to let that go, but I saved a, like a portion of it. So maybe in the future I can use it. So now you're looking at version number two <laughs> of Italian plot number nine. I'd scrapped the first version and redid, you know, different building. You know, I, I'm trying to make it look interesting and Italian-y and but still keeping the inspiration that I saw from the pictures. The last two buildings on the end, the second to the last, I was gonna have balconies with stairs coming down, leading down to the very bottom to the foundation. And then the last one, the smallest one, the white one, uh, the corner had like an indentation that I made and I thought I'd have stairs going into it. Uh, it would be just a fake facade with uh, Italian col columns. I like the shape of it, but I wasn't sure. I still wasn't feeling this second version of the plot. At this point, I was really frustrated. And so I took a couple screenshots along with the inspirational reference pictures that I was using and sent them over to Boo going, do you see what I'm trying to do? And, Am I hitting the mark and, you know, help, you know, as far as ideas and, you know, what I could do to improve it or just kind of, am I on the right track? And he was gracious enough to take the time to show me with taking buildings that you build on grid and then separating them and turn them to different directions to make them look a little bit more interesting. and. I'm really glad that he took the time to teach me and show me that because it was a real game changer. So now I'm on to version three. <laughs> so I'm really tickled with how version three is coming out. The first building I have, I thought with those little areas sticking out, they could be balconies. And I'm really liking the the facade door uh, that are open on both sides that you can look through from one side and look to the other side. I really like that. Um, that's a custom door that I had made. And then I had an idea for the space between the those two buildings. And so it was really coming along. I started getting into a flow. On the first building, I still had balconies, but I changed the look of the balconies. So they're railings and, and I like that better. It, it looked a little bit more interesting and not bulky for lack of a better term and I liked it because it was interesting you could walk underneath it and so I I, I was really on a flow uh, you could see that I added windows and doors and little things here and there to grab your eye I fixed the window here on this building because it was slightly off but it's I'm adding things here arches to connect the two buildings that where there was space between it. As I'm working, I, 
I'll do a couple things. I'll do like, okay, do all the windows, do all the doors. And I'll do like little goals in the build. And after I do each thing, then I'll do, I'll, I'll do a big piece count to see where I'm at piece count wise. And just meticulously following along, like, okay, I've got you know 500 pieces left. I've got da 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 da. Um, just I was really micromanaging my piece count as I built uh, to know what can I do? Do I need to sacrifice this or that? And here are a couple other pictures that I used for references to add in things to have plants near the steps, uh, things in the, you know, to add along to the sides of the buildings, things just to add more clutter as like Wix would say to make it interesting. I add on like a little back part of the building, the middle building and the railings and it gives more interesting places to put like fountains and the two on both sides of the jutting out little portion of the middle building and like little alcoves. And drumroll please. Ta-da! And here is the final result. I'm really happy with this and I hope y'all like what you see. I've added a lot of plants, a lot of clutter here and there. I've added some fun Easter eggs from previous creations that I've made. You'll see Bing Bong from Inside Out and next to him a cute little shed that you'll want to stay tuned for on that. A pink penguin, although I think I, I always get the pink penguin color wrong. I don't know, I always mess it up. I think it should be lighter pink, but a box cat that I made for, I made the box cat for Inside Out. And then up here sleeping on the balcony is a is one of those little uh, sheep from uh, Tender Shepherd from the mini park bedtime rituals. And of course my smiling, my hidden smiley face. And I've uh, just, I've added layers of bricks to one of the houses and just accents of things, lots of flowers. Yeah, I've just tried to make it really interesting and layered. And I've also tried to like not miss any detail. Like there's molding, crown molding, there's just detail as much as I could do within the piece count that I was afforded. And here's an a look on the interior of the house. But yeah, I'm really excited about this and hope you guys like what you see here. And I'm also looking forward to hearing and seeing Johnny's feedback on this creation and how it fits into the official Project Plan Co. Italian area. I hope that um, I did all right of it blending in with my neighbors and yeah i i hope you know everyone's pleased with this i would like to before the cinematics of this i'd like to take a quick moment to thank my family for uh always being gracious when i do these contests or projects <clears throat> excuse me uh, i really appreciate them supporting me while i do these uh, events and stuff and i'd like to thank boog for encouraging me to do this project and for his uh, feedback and critique along the way and for a couple other people that also offered me critique and advice. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of y'all. I want to thank you the viewers for tuning in and checking out what I do here on my, my channel and I highly recommend checking out uh, Channel 5 Gaming's Project Planko series. It's a really fun series. Uh, the community is just on fire with all of their amazing builds from city builds to the French. I just watched the French uh, buildings today, three of them. <clears throat> really cool, unique city buildings. There is a dope dueling coasters that are going on there. Oh, some amazing shops. Uh, just, it's just 
it's amazing to see what the community is doing and a fun series. So tune in to Channel 5 Gaming uh, for some fun videos on that series as well. Uh, enjoy the cinematics and don't forget to stay tuned because uh, the, la the last part of this video will show the second creation that I did for another quick collaboration that was spawned off of the little shed you saw next to Bing Bong. So stay tuned. My cinematic suck ass. <laughs> I hope that had you laughing as much as I've had it retake doing this a couple of times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for watching y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, till next month, peace, love, and blessed be. Bye y'all.